guys, this is Andrew from Senior Apps, and in this tutorial we're going to look at writing to a text file in Swift and also reading back from a text file in Swift. Okay, so first of all, let's take a look at writing a text file. We'll do let file name equals test with a capital T. Let documents directory URL, so document dir URL equals try exclamation mark file manager dot default dot URL Oops. I'll do four as dot document directory in is going to be dot user domain mask appropriate for is going to be nil and create be true and do let file URL equals document dar URL dot appending path component and the component is going to be file name and finally dot appending path extension and the extension is going to be txt for a text file then we're going to print a file path and we'll print that out to the console so that's file url dot path so this is the path to the actual text file, kind of like the folder it's stored in. Now to write to that file we just set up, we'll do let write string equals write this text to the file in Swift. And finally we'll do do, this will write to the file here. So try write string dot write the two is file URL atomically is true and encoding is string dot encoding dot utf8 and then final do a catch let error as ns error Do print failed to write to URL. And then under here we'll do print error to print out the error to the console. So what this is doing here, this top bit sets up our file path. So the file name is test. The document directory URL is the path to the file. And then finally, it tries to write to that file we just created. So writing to that file URL. If it fails to write for whatever reason, then it will print out an error message here. So now let's read from that file we just created. Do var read string equals empty. This is just used to store the file contents we're reading from. We'll do do read string equals try string brackets and down here there'll be one with the contents of URL so we want to put file URL in here and we'll do catch once again and print do failed to read file and print error and in this catch we'll also need to add that let error as ns error so we catch the error if it fails to read the file then finally we'll print out the contents of the file which is that read string let's save that and run our app now 
Okay, so now our app's running and we can see, first of all, it prints out the path to the file here. And finally, it prints out the contents of the file, which is write this text to the file in Swift, which is that write string here. So that's how you read and write to a text file in Swift. One more thing you might want to do is if you already have an existing text file in your Xcode project, you might want to be able to read for that. So this is how we read from the text file if it's stored in a project file itself. Okay, so now I have a text file here called hello and the contents are hello there. So if we drag it into our project, we're going to make sure it's copied into our project with the copy items if needed, go to finish. Now we've added that file to our project. So let's write the code to read that file. So do let file URL project equals bundle dot main dot path and for resource is going to be hello of type will be text since it's a text file. Then we're going to read from the file. So we'll do there read string project equals empty do do read string project once again equals try try string contents of again url and the url is going to be file url project Do catch, let error as ns error, to print, failed to read from project, and we'll print out the error, print error. And after the error, we want to go print read string project to print it back to the console. And one quick note up here, after the contents of, we need to add encoding as string.encoding.utfa. So the encoding for text files, the majority of the time will be UTF-8, unless you specify it otherwise, in which case you'll have a good reason to, and you'll know why you would need to change the encoding. And the contents of just needs to be changed to contents of file for the file URL project, and that needs to have an exclamation mark added to it. And we can finally read that hello.txt file in our project. So let's run our app now and take a look at it. So we can see in the console here, hello there has been printed out, which was printed out by this print read string project. And that was all done from reading it from this code, which was at hello.txt file. So you can download the source code for this project below. <laughs>